Let's see, chat. Let's see. I was just curious. I just found this thing on TikTok. I, I, this might be on my YouTube channel as well. So let's go. Here's some inside our secrets, apparently. If you earned one dollar per second, then to make one million dollars would take you about 11 and a half days. Wait, I didn't hear what you said, sir. I want to. My map is not the best. If you earned one dollar per second, hmm. then to make one million dollars would take you about 11 and a half days. Dumb. But to make one billion dollars, would take you over 31 and a half years. Mm. You see, it's easy to think of wealth in terms of rich or poor. But broadly speaking, there are arguably five different levels of rich. And at each level, things change very drastically. The difference between what a millionaire can do and a billionaire can do is simply staggering. In this video, staggering chat, staggering what life is like at each of these different wealth levels and delving into how the ultra-rich spend their money, including some of the most bizarre and extravagant purchases oh, 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 you've shit. ever heard of. But as you're watching, you'll realize that one of the biggest changes that happens at each of these wealth levels is perspective. Because prices feel relative to how much you earn. So if you compare someone who's earning 40,000 a year with someone earning 400 million a year, Damn. it's 10,000 times more. Mm -hmm. Which means a Lambo that costs three hundred thousand dollars to them is the equivalent of spending thirty dollars. I saw the first minute on TikTok, but that's crazy though. Like this is thirty dollars to some people, but well, that means they can probably buy like a lot of this. A ten million dollar piece of what? art feels like a thousand dollars. A fifty million dollar home in the Hamptons feels more like five thousand dollars. So, whilst to us each of those purchases would feel so major. To a billionaire, it's not even something they'd really need to think about. And of course, when you're that wealthy, it's not just items and experiences that you can buy. But we'll get to that. That was very scary. I think they will be like, maybe buying people, I guess. Let's instead start like, off. The money heist. Yeah, I think that's no, not money heist. Squid Games. With the first level of rich, the top one percent. The top one percent is so low. It's just two hundred k. I thought it's at least one million. Phrase is synonymous with being extremely rich. If your income is over about two hundred thousand dollars a year, you would technically be. Two hundred k is so slow. I thought it would be higher. Like I know, obviously, I don't even know <laughs> Of the top one percent of worldwide earners, and so being in the top one percent may not make you feel quite as rich as you would think, because sure, you can typically afford a nice house and car. Yeah, taking. No, I'm not taking notes. I'm just like, I just saw this on TikTok and I was like, let me react to it. Then I might post it on my YouTube. Uh, why should I take notes? I don't want to be. Nah, I told, I just want like 100k. I remember telling you like some days ago. I don't want all this. Because I don't really think I, will, I need anything. I'll just like buy the things I need. I don't really buy one, if you know what I mean. Rich as you would think. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I don't want to. Nah, I feel like it's just so crazy having so much money. It's like, no, no, no. And I, I don't know. I don't think it's a goal because I'm not going to buy useless things. I'll be very, very frugal. Because I literally, sure. I don't have any um, subscriptions for all these random things like Spotify. Money is buys the world. Oh, you can Rather, I still need to learn a lot, but I a nice house money. and car. But with those things comes higher costs. And so you probably don't feel very financially secure, and you're likely still working a full-time job. Oh, my sister is best time me. Yeah, you don't Everything. feel very financially secure, and you're likely still working a full-time job. Which is why beyond this level, wealth starts to be measured in net worth rather than income. Because the more wealth you have, the more assets you have, and you're probably not making your money from a normal salary. So the next level of rich is a net worth of $10 million to $30 million. At this level, your needs are met. You can live very comfortably. You have a really nice house. You often fly first class internationally. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is just too much. Like, it's a special occasion. You might book a $2,000 suite. Oh my you can gosh. afford oh any health care you need. And in fact, no emergency financial situation can destroy your life. And yet, you're still not rich in the way that money doesn't matter. 
you still have to be sensible and careful when it comes to big decisions. And in the banking world, you're still not classified as having an ultra high net worth. Which brings us to our next level, a net worth of $30 million to $100 million. At this point, you start playing in the big leagues. And most likely, you run or have a controlling interest in a very large company. You always stay at five-star hotels, and you have multiple residences all around the world that you can stay in as well. Oh my days, bro. You take holidays during prime time. For example, going to Monaco for the Grand Prix, or Cannes for the film festival. And you won't bat an eyelid when the place you're staying at costs ten to twenty thousand dollars per night. You have personal assistants and are starting to have people that others have to talk to to get to you. You can buy pretty much anything that normal people think of as stuff rich people buy. Like you can buy any cars you want, the fanciest jewelry, and so on. Instead of flying first class, you yeah, fly this is just Andrew Tate. He's just describing Andrew Tate at this point. Privates. Okay. Although, having said that, you typically charter a flight or own a private jet fractionally through a service like NetJets, instead of buying it outright and having to maintain it. But still, at this level, another big change that happens is your social circle. You probably start socializing with congressmen, senators, and community leaders. You're likely very well respected within some- My god, this is so cringe. I don't know why people would want, want to be this- Very high class no, no. circles. Interestingly though, since you're likely surrounded by other ultra wealthy people, you may start to feel you don't have enough. Sure, you may have just bought a new Ferrari, but your friend has a limited edition version where only five were ever made. And sure, you had dinner with a local governor, but your billionaire friend just had dinner with the president. Even <laughs> at this level, people are still looking above them. Which brings us to our next level of wealth, a hundred million dollars to a billion dollars net worth. To be at this level, you likely have ownership or control of a business that most of the public have heard of, even if they haven't heard of you directly. At this point, you can likely socialize with movie stars, rock stars, and the corporate elites. You can go pretty much anywhere you want and always in style. You have multiple residences with staff all over the world with elite cars at every residence. If it's your thing, you might have a private island, and of course, a private yacht to get you there. Almost any experience you can dream up, you can have. Want to play tennis with your favorite star? Call his people. For a donation of 100,000 or more to his charity, you can probably play a match with him. Want your favorite band to come and play at your private party? Well, for the right price, they probably will. What about if you love art? Your people could arrange for the curator of the Louvre to show you around and show you some masterpieces they haven't exhibited in years. If you can dream an experience up, you can likely have it. Donations and fees can get you to anyone. And once you have many hundreds of millions of dollars, it's the same when it comes to buying things. You may hire people specifically to find you the most extravagant versions of items you can think of. For example, the Australian company Toilet Paper Man produces 22 karat gold toilet paper for a cost of over one point. Oh, you Hamza, yeah, I'm watching levels of wealth inside the secret life of the ultra rich. Three million. Wait, and but gold. To the gold Australian toilet company paper from, Toilet what? Paper Man produces 22 karat gold toilet paper for a cost of over 1.3 Bro, million. this is just so dumb. Like, this doesn't sound bro. And if you are going to quite literally flush money down the toilet, why not get a gold toilet or an entire gold bathroom to go oh, with it? This is just so In disgusting. fact, if you're ultra wealthy, you can literally have gold everything. How about a 24 karat gold water bottle, which in itself is a piece of designer art and comes with spring water from France and Fiji, combined with glacier water from Iceland. Or alternatively, how about the world's most expensive iPhone? iPhone. I think has KSI has this phone also. I remember KSI had a gold 24 phone. karat gold casing and more than 600 white and black diamonds, plus sapphire glass for the screen. This is just so much. This obviously oh, isn't available to the general public. To buy one, you're gonna need over $15 million. Bro. But this is the key. At this level, it's not just about buying it's the fanciest, disgusting, most luxurious bro. items. It's about getting the rare- Is this sarcasm? No, this is real. This is like, this is how some people live their lives. There are some secret people that like buy all golden toilets, buy golden toilet paper. It's like, oh, 
just so weird like how do you leave like that bro first and most exclusive things you possibly can for example you could get a limited edition pen that costs hundred and sixty thousand dollars has four thousand eight hundred and ten diamonds inside <sighs> and only eight are made each I'm year i'm just so oh, disgusted if, watching this like why do people actually buy if you want to like, go a lot bigger than that many billionaires dude, turn to bro. art and not just rare paintings but things like this dead shark art piece created by Damien Hirst that sold for $12 million. Or let's say you like piano. Well, here's the same crystal piano that was used for the Beijing Olympic Games that was purchased at a private auction for a record $3.2 million. You see, when you're at this wealth level, your mind is the only real limit to what is available. You should not be that rich. You say it should be legal. But then we have our final level, the one billion net worth and above. Are you playing for? Yeah, I'll play for now after after watching this video. Now before we get into what you can do as a billionaire, which honestly is pretty insane, it's worth noting that the number of billionaires on Forbes's annual rich list has significantly increased Increase. in recent years. Wait, I think I saw an Nigerian annual rich list. That's it. I didn't know. Significantly increased. Oh. Oh, Ortega, I thought this was a Nigerian. I thought it was like or Ted dollar. I don't even know how much it was. Yes. Oh, and there's no what do you mean by if he didn't buy anything? I'm Nigerian. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I'm Nigerian as well. 2,755 known billionaires. Of course. Gosh, the amount of. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Imagine you have that much money, a lot of V-Bucks you can buy. <laughs> you all this Fortnite people, bro. But it should be illegal. I feel like it should be illegal to have this much money. Like, maybe that's why they are trying to cancel Andrew Tate, as he always says. It's possible there are more who have... Like, if you have so much money, I feel like you'll be so bored. you literally do something stupid. Like, like that Squid Game thing. I think it was based on really rich people. The um, first ever Squid Games wealth that simply do a good job of staying very very private but either way Forbes have estimated these 2755 billionaires are worth a combined 13.1 trillion dollars and therefore is that Kardashian yeah I think this is Kardashian bro it's like it's, it should be legal bro like my gosh have more wealth between bro, if I ever if I ever have this I'll literally like give you all to charity and I'm, I'll be too scared to have this much money. I'll be like, no way, you. I'll literally sell it to someone else. Like, I don't want this much. For the them, than the poorest 5 billion people on earth combined. These statistics are overwhelming. But let's actually visualize it to put things in perspective. This rice example really highlights that even within this billionaire category, the difference between 1 billion and the kind of wealth Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk have it's scary. is insanely vast. I don't even want to be related to all these people that have this money, bro. I'm a big fan of James Janney's YouTube channel. That if and I know someone that has this, I'll be like, yo, don't tell me that you have this money. I don't want to know. He did a great job of visualizing the difference between these large sums of money in a different way. So after trillion. seeing these yeah, examples, you know. we've now got a better... Wait, if you have 1.3 trillion... Um, Hamza, what would you do? I'm curious. Don't tell me you buy V Box. What would you do apart from V Box? Well, thanks for the follow, Mudiru. Someone Mudiru followed me, but he didn't comment in my chat. Yeah, of the scale of a billion dollars. So now let's look at what you can actually do with that. Because essentially. You buy me Sub Beast channel. Yeah, but like, will you still be able to manage? Or like, you can, I guess. Well, like, what would you do to Mr. Beast channel if you had ownership of it? Will you still let him? Around the channel, you can buy anything. I doubt he even sell. It. I'm sure Mr. Beast is this level with all this type of crazy video he does. He's so bored. And I, I do mean. mean anything. We're no longer talking about luxurious items and experiences. And imagine if you can buy anything. Like no, that should not be allowed. Firstly, you can buy access. You can For ask anything to contact almost anyone on the planet and get a call back. Like, it's amazing the level of access Putin. and respect yeah, ability. To, oh, God, imagine, imagine you have that money. You can literally talk to all these leaders just for fun. You buy Donald Mustard. And can get you. Where, where Wait, you what? Are, you can't buy a person, bro. Touch with someone. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he doesn't even work for Fortnite anymore. He'd be able to do it. And I'm not just talking about contacting celebrities. 
it works the same with powerful people within politics as well. Especially because the billionaire may well be a donor to their political party. And so, if you're a billionaire, you may occasionally meet with the heads of states and have conversations with them. Which brings us to the second thing a billion dollars can buy. Influence. As a billionaire, you have many ways to shape public policy and the public debate. And this isn't always done in some kind of evil way, like lobbying for love. I kind of want to play wrong though, but I want to play wrong with people that are like zero ping. Your ping is not pinging. Taxes for rich people. Uh, like maybe I might play duos with you sometime. See, that does happen. But the simple fact is, because of your wealth and connections, you can absolutely influence big changes in the world. And not just on a political level, because another thing you can buy is impact through philanthropy and charity. Your money can literally change countless lives. The question is, how do you distribute it? Clean water for villages? Fund new hospitals? Try to save a dying species of animal? With money, you can impact almost anything of your choice. But one of the biggest differences with billionaires that is often overlooked is the ability to essentially buy What's that is in the future they will not be trillionaires because of all these billionaires. Buy time. Can buy you quite time. literally don't have to wait for anything. No lines, no sitting My around. Days, just think about it. You've got your own private jet. So you just show mm. up at the airport whenever you want. That is so uncomfortable and... having this much money. Plane, think about it. Two minutes later, you're in the sky and can go wherever you wish. When you arrive, a driver will have already been arranged to anything you, up you want. And take you wherever you want to go. Your assistant will have already got the best table at the restaurant you mentioned wanting to eat at. Or maybe your assistant arranged for a celebrity chef to come to one of your vacation homes instead. At whatever time you choose. Everything you could need is taken care of for you. However, believe it or not, there are some downsides to being this ultra wealthy. It's not good Firstly, though. it's nearly impossible to have normal emotional relationships at this level. It can become increasingly difficult to have friends and family that love you for who you are. They exist, but it's pretty hard to know which ones they are. Because your world is likely filled with yes men and people looking to take advantage at every opportunity. Your trust and connections with people are undoubtedly considerably weakened. Dating also becomes an odd experience. <laughs> On the one hand, some of the world's most beautiful and intelligent women are all around you at parties and events. But again, finding someone you have a genuine emotional connection with is a different story. Especially because your time is so valuable that you're always busy and unable to invest in making deep connections with new people. And even if you do find someone, the relationship... Oh my gosh, have you watched this movie? It's so interesting. Oh, in a oh, this movie is like... ...strange way <laughs> when you watching, have bro. essentially unlimited money. Because no matter whether you pay for everything or whether your partner makes their own money, either way, something about the dynamic feels off. This and finally, and most crucially of all, no level of money can give you truly everything. Because death is the great equalizer, and losing loved ones, and losing your own health, and facing your yeah, yeah, good on the sticks. I won't be one. Mortality are problems that no amount of money can solve. The Reddit poster who inspired this video and deserves full credit talks about oh. how he met Sylvester Stallone at a party, who had obviously had a very successful career. He said he was such a great guy, had huge levels of wealth and luxury, a smart and beautiful wife, and yet he also had a special needs son who died young. In his words, nobody has it all. Nobody. In fact, if you are watching this video and feeling poor, I think it's worth rethinking. Because in this video, we've looked at several levels of wealth. But the fact you are watching this means you are nowhere close to the them. bottom of the total wealth Wait, pyramid. It's easy to look up and feel frustrated that some people have so much more than us. But just look down the wealth pyramid for a moment. If you have internet access to watch this, plus some food in the fridge, clothes mm -hmm. on your back, a roof over your head, and a place to sleep. Yeah, this is what I want. I don't want money that will make me to be doing private jets. I just want money for economy class. I just can't than 75% of the world. In fact, even if you have one dollar to your name right now, you are still richer than the majority of the Ooh, world right. who it's are scary, in debt bro. or have absolutely nothing. Oh my what this video really highlights is that rich versus poor is so arbitrary. 
it's not two groups. There are many, many different levels. And compared to most of the world, you might well be a lot richer than you think. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, I guess that's, that's, it, that's it for the... Yeah. Alright, chat. I guess time for Fortnite.